You're just the type Sergeant Antive is looking for. Really? Tell me more. I hope you'll forgive me for making assumptions, but... Well, you look like someone who knows how to fight. I mean, if not, then you certainly fooled me. <laughs> if you do know how to fight, well then, we could really use your help. What do you need help with? Defending the city. If you're going to be sticking around, you're probably going to be defending yourself one way or another. If you're willing, though, Sergeant Antive asked me to send any tough-looking types his way. He's at the West Gate. I'll go speak with Sergeant Antive. Things grow darker here by the damn hour. Reachmen are right down there. Came in by boat, took the lighthouse, and now they're crawling up in the woods to assess our defenses. And our orders are to just sit here and watch. Uh, why don't you talk? Captain Huron's fought the bastard's leader before, Strasnok. He says we're outmatched and we have to just wait them out. I say the captain's a few links shy of a full chain. With our defenses weakened, we can't risk waiting. Is there anything I can do to help? Absolutely. Captain's ordered us to hold back, but not you. And he did say we need more outside help. Morale's been down in the dung heap since King Eamon died. If you can lop off this Strasnok's head, it'd be an inspiration to the men. Uh, okay, I'll bring back his head. I won't lie to you, friend. Things are grim. The King and his heirs are dead. Our forces decimated, crows are everywhere. <laughs> People have lost hope. Bring Strasnok's head to Captain Huron at the South Gate. That'll be a big win for us. But where did all the crows come from? Beats the oblivion out of me. Ever since King Eamon died, they've been showing up all over the city. With all their cackling. <laughs> Creepy, too. They're just sitting there, watching us. It's like they've come to see us all die. Okay, let's... Uh... Is this Aha! it? Ah! Found it. I don't think he's friendly. I think I might also be in danger zone. So you're the one wreaking havoc down there among those hawkers. I've tangled with a reachman or two in my day, and my helmet's off to anyone who charges into their ranks that way. Don't suppose you've come to enlist in the town guard, have you? No, but I brought you the reachman leader's head. You have old Strasnok's head? Shows bones. Somebody buy this cra- Mead. If you like to cut off Reachman heads, you've come to the right place, my friend. Have you met Duke Renchant? The Duke will want to meet you. All right, sure. Good. Take your time, though. Rest up. You've earned it. Okay. The Duke will- If you have a moment, I would appreciate a word. Pardon my intrusion, but- I would speak to you on behalf of Queen Argella. I am her handmaiden. The Queen has heard of your recent accomplishments, and she asked me to make a private request on her behalf. I thought 
took uh, Rushant was in charge. He is. The queen stepped aside, but she remains the rightful ruler of the kingdom, and she still cares deeply for its people. Even now, in mourning, she attends to wounded soldiers and refugees in the chapel, but she has other concerns as well. What's the queen concerned about? Quite frankly, she's concerned about the city's defenses. Ah. But of course, she cannot publicly question the Duke's policies. Okay. This is why. Her Majesty would ask you to inspect the defenses at the East okay. Gate. I know Her Majesty would appreciate if you gave these matters the highest priority. After you've completed your investigation, come speak to the Queen at the Chapel of St. Pelin. If there are problems, she should know as soon as possible. All right. Let's uh, go investigate stuff. Oh. Hello? This is absurd. I've committed no crime. And they're just gonna leave me here. I would say to Rut, but I will never get that chance. I'll be speared through when the city is taken. And then the will eat my remains. Why did they put you in stocks? For speaking the truth. Nothing more. The Imperial Army has just conquered the largest city in southern Bankerai. And mark my words, they will come here next. How do you know that? Because I have just come from Holland Stan. The Imperials infiltrated the city and seized it overnight. Oh. They enslaved half the population. Oh. They will do the same here. But when I suggested this to the guards, they locked me up. Uh, why would they lock you up for that? They said I was spreading half-truths and paranoid delusions. Oh. They said the people here have had enough fear with the Reachmen and cannot afford to hear my ravings. Please, you must get me out of here. I don't I'll want to be eaten by crows. I'll see what I can do. Truth is silenced. It is the people who are shackled. Hello? The people eye the north with fearful eyes. But it's from the south that the storm approaches. How are you speaking to me? With an open mind, one hears truth. However dark it may be. All right, and you're trying to sell me something? No! The telling has already been done. Oh. I am here to listen and to watch. Who are you? I'm a crow. <laughs> what more do you need to know? I guess there's nothing more to say then. Okay. The defenses at the South Gate are far from impressive, but they're as well organized as might be expected. They are, there are, however, a few suspicious looking crates. I examine the crates. The crates appear to be stocked with fresh supplies, weapons, and armor. The crates are stamped as cargo from a ship called the Boussoulet Queen. I have to report this to the Queen. No Great gifts often appear as a surprise, but sometimes the surprise should be spoiled. Do you know something about this? I know what I see, but it is not me who needs to know. It's you. Can you tell me what you know then? I know this is a desperate city in desperate times, but this is not the gift the city needs. I'll take your words into consideration. Okay. We have a new crew friend. Okay. Hello? Who are you? Can't you see I'm having a drink with my friend here? Might as well embrace the crows. They're here to stay. If anyone goes, it'll be us, not them. You don't think the city can defend itself? With 15 guards and a couple quivers of arrows? Not a chance. Everyone's dead. The king, the prince, the knights and soldiers. 
The job's almost done. Just a few stragglers left. You know who I'm talking about? Me and you. That's who. And do you think the Duke is, going, is doing a good job? Renchant? Sure. He's realistic, at least. He knows we can't last the day unless we get some help from the outside. Of course, the new guard, Captain Huron, doesn't seem to want any help. The loud brushed off an offer from the Fighters Guild. He refused an offer to help defend the city. Sure enough. Huron said he's exploring other options. Don't know what those options are. Don't hear much down here, though. Say, why don't you ask the crow? I swear the thing's talking. Probably knows more than we do. More than me, at least. Yeah, I'll leave you to your drink, then. Waiting. When there's no knowledge in the tops of towers, check oh. the bottoms of <laughs> bottles. Uh, uh, how did you get in here? One can witness the larger view from on high, but one must come down below to see what hides in shadows. What is it that hides in the shadows? The light hides in shadows, but only there can it shed on secrets. What secrets? A secret told is no secret, but all knowledge has its time. I guess I'll have to wait then. Okay, well. Let's go share well, what we've learned with Queen. Hello. So much suffering. So much death. Like my husband and my children, this soldier gave her life forevermore. I wish I could offer her more comfort, but I can only pray with her to gods whose mercy I have come to doubt. I'm sorry for your losses, Your Majesty. Many others are enduring similar losses. I deserve no more compassion than they do. In truth, knowing they share my grief has been a great consolation. You are not here for grieving, though. Is there some official business that demands my attention? Your handmaiden asked that I report here. Oh, of course. Glerica told me. I hope you'll forgive her. Her intentions are good, but she misled you. That request was not on my behalf. She can't seem to accept my decision to step aside and let Duke Renchant handle all matters of state. You don't want to know what I found, then? I would, but at another time. I hope you understand. Losing my family... I just need time, and I believe this is how I can best serve the people right now. If you have concerns about security, though, you must report them to the Duke. As you wish, Your Majesty. Thank you for respecting my wishes. Perhaps you can convince Glerica to do the same. She's already off again, investigating some ship at the docks. These matters are the Duke's concern now, and he has my support. He'll appreciate your help, though. I'll go speak with the Duke right away, then. Maybe I should talk to the clerk instead. That is indeed an immense relief, Yorin. Give us room to breathe. And it doesn't mean we can rest on our laurels. I know. It's only one victory, Your Grace. But I hope it's a sign of more to come. I do too, but that's going to require more work on both our parts. And there's nothing for it but to get it done. You're dismissed, Captain. Aha! Uh -huh. You must be the hero whose bold deeds Captain Huron was just recounting. Retaking the lighthouse may seem trivial, but in times like these, it's huge. Oh. Say, you look like someone I've been hearing quite a bit about. May I ask your name? Uh, of course, Your Highness. My name is Crafty Minerva. As I expected, your reputation precedes you. Does it? You've become something of a legend in the kingdoms of the Daggerfall Covenant. Uh -huh. You're certainly welcome in Evermore. These are desperate times. Have you seen much of the city? Yes, and I learned some things that the Queen wanted me to report. Indeed. Then by all means, tell me what you discovered. Uh, the guards put a refugee in stocks for talking about the Imperials. 
I opened our gates to the refugees, but there are limits, and that man was completely mad. Standing outside the castle, shouting that we were all going to die? The people of Evermore are terrified already. We can't afford such nonsense. Okay. Uh, there are crates of weapons and supplies at the East Gate. So you saw those? You are very perceptive. The truth is that we found an ally to help defend the city. I'm not quite ready to make this information public, though. The crates were sent to the Bruce Lake Queen. Yes, that is the ship that transported the supplies. Oh. There are more supplies being offloaded even now. Please, if you'll just be patient, I'll share all the details in due time. For now, you must stay away from that ship, though. It's off limits. Uh, Captain Version turned down an offer from the Fighter Skills. Oh, yes, I'm well aware of this. It's unfortunate, but the terms the guild demanded were downright rapacious. Furthermore, the number of mercenaries they could actually muster was almost insignificant. It simply wasn't worth it. Oh, uh, that's all I have to report. Listen, I can tell that you have an inquisitive nature, and I know your intentions are good, but I cannot risk revealing all my plans just yet. Suffice to say, I've found a way to protect the city from the Reachmen, and that is what matters. Are you sure? Uh, are you worried that people will question your plan? I'm sure that you realize that with the Reachmen bearing down on us, I have a great many matters to attend to. I absolutely do not wish to be rude, but I must be going. Come back another time and I will endeavor to answer all your questions. I can't help the city unless you tell me what you're planning. All right. If you cannot be convinced to let this go. You must understand, desperate times call for desperate measures. If those Reachmen take this city, they are going to kill every man, woman, and child. Anything is better than that. So what's your alternative? Hear me out. A few weeks ago, Imperial diplomats made an offer. They have a deal with the Reach. If oh. we surrender the city to Imperial authority, oh. the Reachmen cannot attack. Not only will we survive, but we'll also retain considerable autonomy. You think you can trust the Imperials? We don't have a choice, and at this point, you don't either. Steps are being taken as we speak, and there's nothing you can do to stop us from moving forward. You don't even have any proof with which to raise an alarm. There's the proof on that ship, though, isn't there? As I said before, the Bulse Queen is off-limits to all but its crew and the city guard. You've given me no reason to trust you, so at this point, I think I'll say no more. Interesting. Um... Okay, I'm... Hey, you! What are you doing slinking Honey around my shirt? Honey business! I want to see what's in the hole, too! Do you have a key? Hmm. Crows on the ship, with a cruise on the shore. South Button City Wall. One carries the key to open the door. Approach with care, though. Drunk sailors can be salty! I'll go get the key from a crew member. This is taking forever. I mean, it's none of my business if the guy wants to practice his block. Alright. It's just where the um arrow was pointing to. Don't take kindly to people snooping around my dice game. From the sides! I 
most of the Torvald Sword look like? It's just a Torvald Sword. <laughs> 